Now they will look pretty small. They're only about like two or three feet away. Let's go up there. To the mighty Pacific. Yeah, I know. Watch. Just watch. This whale story is the ocean story. Wow. And it is one we all share. <laughs> In fact, there are at least 10 types or ecotypes of killer whales. Uh -huh. An ecotype describes the differences between killer whale size, physical form, prey, social structure, and habitat. He's so cute, huh? Look, he's turning. As you can you see, see that? The he's turning. Are subtle but noticeable when compared side by side. You see, they're, they're turning right there. Orcas are adapted perfectly to their environments. And even the whale's black and white coloration has a purpose. It camouflages the outline of their bodies in the water, making it easier for them to surprise and catch their prey. Aww. You see them? When viewed from above, the black of the whale blends in with the dark depths of the ocean. When viewed from below, the orca's white bellies match the brighter surface of the water, blending yeah. with the light above, giving them the perfect camouflage. He's staying on his back. Killer whales really are a natural wonder. And Corky will help you show you some See that? Levi! Levi, look! Their blow hole is perfectly designed for getting a quick breath at the surface of the water. 
Even the location of their eyes works to their advantage. It looks you like her eyes are in the Over there! Her eyes are actually right there, in the black there. area. In front of the white he patch, see it. camouflage he see it. from yeah. the and gray. The fin on top of the orchid's body is called a dorsal fin, which helps stabilize whales when they swim and helps regulate their body temperature. There is no bone inside of the dorsal fin, what which is, is why he? sometimes you may see a slight curve. The flippers on the other side of the orca's body are called pectoral flippers and are mainly used for steering oh. and stopping. <laughs> there are no. five digits inside of the flippers, just like the human hand. The lobes on either side of the tail are called flukes. And the tail flukes are the killer whale's engine, propelling them close to 30 miles per hour, which is as fast as our speed boats. And they swim the fastest and use the most power. Look, 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 look. They're nearly 10,000 pound bodies, completely up and are highly social animals with a well-defined social structure. You saw that? An orca pod is always led by a female. <laughs> Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. Yeah, and they're eating. It's all about attitude, not size. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks for echolocation or navigation. See that? Whistles to socialize in the pod. Yeah. And calls for group coordination and hunting. Oh, that's your fin right there. I thought that was like... Vocal development studies here at SeaWorld that show that right. early on, right. caps learn vocalization from their mothers. But as they grow, they learn from others close to them as well. This is a bottlenose dolphin call that Shuka learned and even taught other killer whales here at SeaWorld. In fact, orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. Whales here and in the wild use vocalization to communicate all the time. Yeah, you see it? Yeah. Like all animals, orcas use body language as part of their communication. They use pectoral slaps at the surface of the water to show dominance and to get noticed. For example, another one is to get the yeah. attention. You see it? But when they really want to be heard, they preach. Oh, how come that size only looks big?
of the ocean's food chain. Mm -hmm. Killer whales work together to rear their young, protect their pod, and most importantly, pursue and catch their prey. Every day they cooperate to survive in the wild oceans of the world. The orca's hunting techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle herring, herding them together. The whales use sounds to coordinate with each other and to disorient the herring. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stun them with their powerful tail flukes, what, making for an easy meal. There he is! I see him! Yeah! Honey! Uh-oh, look at that one! Look at that one! Look at that one! Look, look, he's gonna jump! continue to drive the whale forward until it reaches exhaustion. The calves then move in to join the adults in the group. Whatever their prey, killer whales always cooperate and hunt together, making them a highly successful predator. Are there going to be penguins? Mama, no. Are there going to be penguins? Play is an important part of everyday life for killer whales. It's how they teach young whales to hunt and practice their skills as they grow. Look, look. Orcas spend lots of time interacting. 
hunting and showing their playful side, both in the wild and here at Sea Look, look, it's coming out. Porpoising is when a whale swims fast at the surface, breaking look, look. out of the water briefly. Watch, watch, Ruby. What's porpoising? Oh. Like that. You'll see them do this when catching a ride in the wake of a boat or when surfing in a wave. and will wrap their bellies on rocks when they can. Watch as our whales demonstrate this movement right here at the slide. Look, look, look. Device. You hear it see world all the time. The whales are always mimicking and learning from each other. You see Shamu? Ruby? Look! has a purpose. A tail whip is used in hunting to stun fish. But today, these whales might just be stunning all of you. Sit down. The whales here take an active role in their health and well-being. Can I my phone? Sit down. For example, they can show us their tail flukes, which is a very helpful behavior when we take voluntary blood samples. <laughs> They'll also slide out onto a scale so we can monitor their weight you see Orca doing this here in this video. We Sit weigh down. our whales weekly to ensure that our younger whales are growing properly and our older whales are maintaining a nice healthy weight. And they'll even let us take a broad sample from their blowhole because of the trusted relationships <laughs> that we've built here together day after day at SeaWorld. And right now it is my honor privilege to introduce you to one of our 10 incredible whales. Making his way out here is 27 year old Keith. He is considered our gentle giant. His uh, demeanor is very relaxed and calm and he's often considered the trainer of new trainers. Our trainers love building a relationship with him and just spending time hanging out. He also participates in a number research projects to help to conserve his wildlife counterparts. We encourage the whales every day to learn new things, to engage and stimulate their minds. Diet, exercise, and of course play all help keep these whales in great shape. The whales here at SeaWorld have helped killer whales in the wild by participating in many research studies. One ongoing study monitors the whale's heart rate and breathing 
To understand how marine noise pollution from ship engines and other sources affect wild populations. Ruby, sit over here, please. In another study, scientists from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric we'll Administration, took measurements of the killer whales living here, including pregnant whales. By comparing these measurements with drone footage of killer whales in the wild, scientists are able to monitor the wild population's nutritional and reproductive states. Other research has been done here at SeaWorld on the mother whale's milk composition. This research will help create an effective model to understand how toxins in the ocean impact wild killer whales and their milk supply. What we learn from the whales in our care every day is actively helping whales in the wild survive. And just by being here today, you've supported our rescue, research, and conservation efforts all around the world. If we work together like the killer whale, we can protect the future of the Orsinus orca and this beautiful planet that we all share.